One year has now passed since the battle in Old Milshan space. Ever since the Zoar was swallowed up by the giant Gnosis, the Gnosis phenomenon has increased in frequency, and the people are now constantly exposed to its threat. Yet, despite the large number of star systems that have been destroyed by the Gnosis, people continue to resist, refusing to cooperate with each other and engaging in one pointless conflict after another. I found myself full of questions. I wanted to know more about the immigrant fleet, the organization that was behind the Milshan conflict, as well as the words that were spoken by the Patriarch Sergius. He said that the Ormus are the rightful possessors of the Zohar. So I began to investigate. I wanted to know more about the relationship between the Milshan conflict and the Zohar on my own. Six months ago, I encountered a group of people called Skientia. I was able to obtain their aid as I found myself becoming more and more involved in an incident that revolved around a mysterious program called Lemigeton. It turned out to be a Zohar control program, which was developed during the Lost Jerusalem era. Its creator, Grimoire, continued to wander the UMN as a mental entity in search of a being. He was searching for Nephilim, the girl in the white dress that has appeared before me countless times. The existence of an organization controlling Grimoire from the shadows came to light. Vector Special Technology Advancement Division this department, jointly managed by the government and private industry, had been wiped from the records. But there was no doubt, it had been created by the organization I worked for. Vector also had contact with the UTIC organization, and the UTIC organization was connected with Ormus. But the evidence was concealed and the truth had been buried away into the darkness. Everything except for one fact. I found out the name of the individual who was in the lead position at that time in the management office. When I saw the name, Suo Uzuki, I felt nothing. No surprise, no sadness, and no anger. To be honest, I felt nothing at all. Somewhere in my heart, I think that I must have expected it. All I could feel was a sense of resignation, knowing that the inevitable had finally come to pass. And I decided to quit my job at Vector. The friends I made there, and Cosmos, were the only bonds I had linking me to Kevin. But I couldn't stand being there any longer. Maybe I did it to atone for all of the victims. Maybe it was to strike back at my late father, who had abandoned my mother. No, it wasn't for either of those reasons. It was probably that I 